Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be going over the Understand Your Learning questions from the Balance and Chemical Equations unit. Let's take a look at number one. Determine if the following chemical equation is balanced or unbalanced. So I'll write it down here so that we can work with it a little bit easier. So the easiest way to tell if a chemical equation is balanced or unbalanced is just to check by counting the atoms on each side of the equation and see if they're equivalent to one another. So I like to make a table kind of like this one where I just list out all of the possible atoms in the chemical equation and I'll draw a dividing line where the arrow is. So let's start with counting the nitrogens on either side. So remember that whenever there is a subscript we just take the subscript and multiply by the coefficient, which in this case is 1, to count the total number of atoms. So in this case, we do 2 times 1 to find that there are two nitrogen atoms. Next, let's count the nitrogens on the other side. In this case, nitrogen has an invisible subscript of 1, and it has a coefficient of 2, so we do 2 times 1 again, and we find that there are two nitrogens. Next, let's count the hydrogens. So on the left side of the equation, we have a subscript of 2 and a coefficient of 3, so we'll do 2 times 3 to find that there are 6 hydrogen atoms. And on the right, we have a subscript of 3 and a coefficient of 2, so we'll multiply those together to find that there are 6 hydrogen atoms on the right as well. So let's check across. We see that 2 is equivalent to 2, so that is balanced, and 6 is equivalent to 6, so that is balanced. So this chemical equation is in fact balanced. And that is the answer to number one. Let's move on to number two. Hydrocarbon combustion reaction is a reaction where a hydrocarbon, a molecule taking the form CXHY, reacts with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide and water and heat. Balance the following hydrocarbon combustion equation. So let's make a similar chart to before, just to help us keep track of all of the atoms. So we have C, H, or carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen as possible atoms in this equation. And we'll draw our dividing line. And let's just start by counting. So we have one carbon on this side because we'll do one times one to get one. And we have one carbon here. We have four hydrogens on this side and two on this side. And then for oxygens, we have two on the left and looks like we have two here and one here. Okay. So... First, we can kind of see that this is not balanced. If we want to check, we can just check across. 1 equals 1, but 4 is not equal to 2, and 2 is not equal to 3. So we know we have to fix something. And the way we balance chemical equations is by adding coefficients. By using this table method, whenever you add a coefficient to one molecule, you have to make sure to multiply the entire column. So I'll show you that in a minute. Let's plan a game plan first, though. So we know that we need to fix the hydrogens and the oxygens. However, we see that we have an oxygen all by itself over here with no other atoms combined to it. So we're going to want to leave this for last. And that's a good general rule to follow because it stands by itself and it's the easiest to maneuver. So let's start with the other molecule in question, which is this H2O over here. We see that there are four hydrogens on the left, but only two on this side. So a good first coefficient to try is a two. So we can try adding a two there. But like we said before, we now have to multiply everything in this column by two. Let's see if that fixes our problem. One equals one, so that works. Four equals four, so that works. But now we have two is not equivalent to 4. 
Okay, so I think the best way to fix that would be by multiplying this oxygen by itself by 2. So we can multiply everything in the column, which is just this one oxygen here on the bottom left. And now when we check it out, it should give us that 4 oxygens are on the left and 4 oxygens are on the right. Now everything checks out and we have a balanced hydrocarbon combustion reaction equation that looks like the following. With coefficients of 1, 2, 1, and 2 going from left to right. So that is the answer to number 2.